What's up guys and welcome back to Dieter Play. So we've got a time machine egg here for the Roblox Egg Hunt 2020. I think they're just putting one of these out a week early. Not sure exactly why or how this came out today, but I think they're just trying to give us one egg as a teaser. So they've got this mission. It is a beautiful mission. The link to the game is in the description. So you guys go and check it out. Um, so first thing you want to do, uh, go talk to this NPC. As soon as you start out, you're going to go talk to him. There's a couple different missions and things that you've got to do. Um, uh, I'm speeding the video up by about uh, double, double speed uh, because it needs to be because there's a lot of walking around. Uh, anyways, like you can see that there's these train stations and also see that slick ice. It also it lets you know that you can use the train stations and you can use the ice. I'm going to be running around the map and not using the stations in this video, but you guys can save your time. And if you go to the very front of the stations, the entrance, you can press E and then there's uh, five different stations around the map. And if you wanted to get it to a different corner of the map you can just click on a different station and then boom you're just going to teleport right over there so uh if you guys do this you can probably get through and find all the different pieces that you need to find a little bit quicker uh but in this video i'm going to be running across the map uh there's also the fact that there's uh pieces of ice in the river those little pink pieces of ice you want to uh if you can you can walk on those because they'll make you go a little faster anyways uh first thing we're supposed to do there's like six crystal things around the map and you have to go get all six of them so i'm going to show you right here uh me getting all of these things so see that thing sticking up out of the ground you can just uh press e and pick it up uh but you see the little there's the pink little v's so those are like little waypoints, little beacons that tell you where all the items are that you need to find. So it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but if you need to know the locations, then uh, you can just see in this video exactly where these things are hiding. Uh, so uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk to you, let you know when we need to uh, give you guys information on some of these things. But for the most part, just watch where I'm going here in the map to pick up all these different little pieces. Okay, now see these right here, those little pieces of ice. When you step on those, you can see that your character is going to run faster. So if you can, I recommend try to use the ice and move around a little bit faster because it will definitely help you and save you a little bit of time. As you can see, we've got six out of six of these little crystals. So we're going to go back up and talk to this NPC. Pretty easy to just kind of jump up on the hill. Um, but this NPC has a lot more work for you to do. Now they want a little egg basket. So you got to go talk to the guy who she gave her egg basket to, who she doesn't think it actually has it. But you're going to find that out later. But um, when you're going over there, you can either use a train station or you can walk across because there's a whole bunch of this ice and it can make you move a little bit faster. So there he is right there, Mr. Claymore. But does he have the basket that you need? No, of course he doesn't. He left it at his house behind some sort of, I guess, uh, obby that people are supposed to go through. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to show you exactly how to get over to his house. You'll see another one of those little waypoint things. See how there's that little arrow. Now, it makes it seem like you have to go swim in the water and swim down, but that's not the case. You have to go into this little ice area, and then you can see here there is a little bit of an obby. Now, this is a little bit tricky. When you fall, you kind of start over, but there's a timer. As soon as you get to this part, the timer starts. A minute and a half. 
Now, what I recommend is, like, this part's probably the hardest, but get on these little stones to get up to the top. You can see the ones that I use. Use those same ones, and you can get up pretty quickly. Uh, and it's not too hard if you manage to get past that first part. Uh, now, over here, make sure you stop here for this one, and then go through, because sometimes that can push you over, and then you're going to have to start all over on this obby. And then just a little bit more further across these little... These little jumps and then boom right there we've got the egg basket so uh now i recommend you just go back up to the top you can't go across there but you can fall down and then it'll reset you and then you can just climb yourself back up to the top and now that you've got the basket you don't need to talk to mr claymore anymore you can go and talk to that original npc All right, so once again, making our way up this little hill and the NPC over there. Okay, so now again, talk to Hopper Egg Eggmington. Hopper Eggmington, I guess is the name. Um, so now there's more work that you have to do. There's eight little egg shells that are hidden around the map. You can see right here, they've all got little arrows that show you where they are. And they're in front of these gingerbread houses. Not every single house has one, but there's eight around the map. You guys can see, again, probably save a lot of time if you use the train tracks and try to walk across the uh, pink ice if you can, because that'll make you go a little faster. But you can watch in the video as I grab all eight of these eggshells. All right, so now that you've got all eight of the eggshells, once again, you want to go back to the original NPC, Hopper, Eggmington, and talk to that person. Go over there, and I think you give them all of these little eggshells. But now that you've given the eggshells, there's one more challenge. you got to go grab the egg on the top of this big mountain. It's a little tricky getting to the top, uh, but there is some stuff that you can use to kind of help guide you to the top. Uh, see how the, I'll, I'll, I'll basically make a video here. You can see that uh, I'm getting to the top in a certain way and I'm using a certain path, uh, but the path kind of follows the little ropes, but it is a little bit tricky. So you guys uh, have to kind of work a little bit hard to get to the top of this. It's not too bad. So just watch how I do it right here uh, when I go up the side and you want to probably get to a point where I see all those, uh, those orange things. This is another way around that I'm using, uh, but basically what you want to do is try to follow where these are leading you. See how I'm kind of following that path? Now, you might follow a couple times, but eventually if you just keep jumping, you'll get up to the top there. 
and uh, this part is also a little bit tricky uh, but once you move on past this you can see you go follow this line and then this little thing this little path to go up to the top a little bit further now it's pretty easy at this point it's not as hard to get up but some of that stuff down at the bottom was a little bit trickier and a little bit more of a challenge but here you go this is the egg guys go ahead and press e and grab it and then the whole earth starts shaking and everything basically changes now this is just the final stretch of the video and of this egg that you need to get you can see there's a little lit lit path right here so just basically follow the path that i'm taking and use these little lights as indicators for where you need to go if you fall into the lava your character will go oof and then you'll start back at the beginning of just this part uh so you don't have to go and start the whole mission over or anything like that uh but there's just this long corridor over here and make your way to the back of the corridor All right, now we're gonna make our way into this little door, and when you go do that, it takes you to this little elevator. So uh, it's kind of like an invisible elevator, but it's taking you to the top, guys. It's gonna take you to the top. Kind of reminds me of Ready Player One. Remember that elevator in Ready Player One at the very end of it, where you went and you got to meet like uh, David and the writer of the Ready Player One book? This is sort of similar to that. Now you're gonna get teleported over to this other place and look around. Whoa, it looks like we're on a stage. What's going on here? Okay, okay. So I'd recommend maybe go forward and talk to this guy in the front. He 